Do you ever feel like that when you send something to the printer and nothing happens? In today's video, I'm going to show you what happens when you try to print and nothing happens or you get an error on your printer. Now, Before you rush to the store to buy a new one or take a sledgehammer to it, there are a few easy fixes you can try to get your printer back online and I'm going to show you how. After each individual step, go ahead and try printing again until you're back up and running. I've broken this guide down into two sections. The first section is if it's only you trying to print. If you are in an office or multiple people are printing, or you have multiple devices that can print, such as a tablet, cell phone, or another computer, go ahead and skip ahead to the second section because the first section doesn't apply to you. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is simply restart the printer. If you still can't print after restarting the printer, restart your computer and try again. Sometimes a stuck print job will actually cause a bottleneck. So what you want to do is click on the print icon by your clock, open it up, any active print jobs, right click and cancel those documents and try printing again. The next thing you wanna try is to stop and start the Windows print spooler service. From your search bar, you're going to type in services, click on the services app. When that app opens, scroll all the way down to print spooler, right click on it and choose stop, and then right click on it again and choose start and then close that window once the service is restarted and try printing again. The next step in the process is to do a system restore and try to put Windows settings back to the way they were before the problem started. So what you're going to want to do is click on your search bar and type system restore. Click on create a restore point. When the restore window pops up, click on system restore, click next. Select a restore point prior to when the problem started and click next and let it continue. When it's done, Windows will restart and then try printing again. So the next step in the process is to delete and reinstall your printer. You wanna to go to your start menu, and click on settings, go into devices and devices and printers, select your printer and then click remove device. Now, once you have removed the printer, you now need to go and uninstall the printer software that came with that printer. Most modern printers have a software installation suite. So you're gonna to go to your apps menu and you're going to scroll down until you find the particular software, Canon, Brother, HP, etc., and then select it and then uninstall. At that point, if your printer is physically connected to your computer, you want to then unplug it and then simply restart your computer. Now that you've successfully uninstalled the driver, we need to reinstall it. So if you have a CD that came with it, go ahead and pop that in and follow the instructions. If you don't have a CD, you can go to the manufacturer's website and download those drivers. If you don't know how to do that, you can just go to Google and type in download printer model, followed by the word driver, and you'll get a list of results. What you want to look for is the website above the link to make sure it matches and it's actually the manufacturer's website. Once you're there, go ahead and click that and that should take you right to the driver page. Download the drivers, follow the steps to reinstall, plug in the printer when told. Now this next step is very important. If you have a printer that connects directly to your computer, before you reinstall the drivers, make sure you unplug that USB cable because Windows will try to install it and it will conflict with the installation software from your manufacturer. Make sure you unplug it and when the software tells you to plug it in, that's when you do that. Now at this point, we are running low on options. So if you have the ability to print to a different printer, go ahead and try that. If it still does not print to a known good printer, then you most likely have a Windows problem. If obviously you could print successfully to a different printer, then your primary printer is the problem and should be replaced and you're back in business. So if you're getting value so far from this video, take a second and hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel. Now, if you are in an environment where multiple people cannot print or you cannot print from multiple devices, this part is for you. So if you have multiple users or multiple devices that cannot print to a single printer, simply restart the printer and see if you can print. If your printer is wireless or connected to a router or switch, restart that router or switch. The printer may have simply just lost its connection to your wireless network, even if it's still showing as connected and everybody else has internet. After you do that, 
try printing again. So if that doesn't work, what you want to do is you want to go into your printer options, usually on an LCD screen on the very front of your printer. Go into the network settings and reset network settings back to default. This will force the printer to reconnect to your wireless network, possibly allow it to start working again. Now the fourth and final step is just like the previous step, except instead of just resetting the network settings, you want to go into your LCD panel options and reset the entire printer back to factory defaults. After you do that and you reconnect it to your wireless network and you still cannot print, you now have a definitive printer problem. At that point, you have eliminated all the computers. You've now narrowed it down to one possible solution and that is a bad printer. So at this point, go get a new printer, get it set up, and your office is back up and running. I hope this video helped you out, maybe saved you a little bit of money, and certainly some time and some headache. If you'd like to watch more hardware troubleshooting videos, click the playlist on your left. If you'd like to see some tips, tricks, and how-tos in Windows, click the playlist on your right. See you in the next video.